Hello there, how are you? I have once again uh, some easy content for you. I have had an itch to check out the Cosmic Desktop, right? Because uh, I, I wasn't even paying attention too much on it because people are always saying how it's alpha software, alpha software, do not judge them, you know, and well, okay, then I won't even try then. But Arch people have been so nice to provide them in the main repository, so, so let's check it out. Okay, I am on my T480 laptop with uh, everything installed as per my uh, likings and I have Hyperlen here, so let's just use this shell uh, to install Cosmic. Okay, this should install everything. Default is all, so we get Cosmic App Library. Applets, uh, BG is background, I think. A compositor, files, greeter, idle. A launcher notifications, so is the panel, um, and some other stuff. Let's go and install everything. So these packages are clearly uh, light and will be downloaded soon enough. Okay, it's done. So what I'm going to do first is kill uh, the uh, Hyperland session and what I want to do is try out the um, Cosmic Greeter service, right? So let's go ahead and switch to the console. Okay, root access, my password, system, ctl, stop, sddm, service, that should do it. And now let's start uh, no, sorry, system ctl start cosmic greeter, is it like that? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Uh, so we got some kind of a greeter service and we are on a second desktop. Okay, I have, so the way it configured by default is that my desktop um, greeter is spanned across two monitors, right? So I can go from the left one to the right one. Uh, I don't think we can change it here. Yeah, we can choose the uh, various sessions. Uh, we can choose keyboard layouts and nothing appears here. Okay, we have a small bug or the n n unfinished feature. Uh, we have just one user, suspend, restart, shutdown. Uh, our battery and wireless is showing up here. Okay, let's just log in and see what we have. Okay. Looks like we're logging in and we got some kind of a default desktop. And I think it's still spanning across two monitors. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can unify this somehow. Because I want to see the same thing on my laptop as on the screen that you're seeing. So what do we have here? There are no pop-ups yet. Uh, okay, so that's search. This shows tasks. What is this button? Okay, launcher. This will obviously launch Firefox. Okay, let's put that down for now. File manager. Okay, Windows dragging, not tiling by default. Document viewer. Okay, we don't need that. New terminal. Okay, let's do the uh, fast fetch. Not found. I guess I'm not cool enough to have fast fetch already pre installed. Okay, let's do it now. There we go desktop environment, Cosmic Window Manager, Cosmic Compositor in Wayland, Wayland powered. Okay, let's put this away. For now, let's see what this is. Looks like a package manager. Package manager. Let's um, let's install something. Krita, digital painting. Let's install this. Fail to install Krita from system. Fail to install Krita. Org kde Krita from system package kit. The name is not activatable. I suppose it's not yet integrated with Pacman. So let's not hold it a grudge. Uh, against this uh, unimplemented function functionality. Let's go ahead and see what this is. Okay, so here we, we, we are 
here is where we are going to display setup okay what I wanted to do is um, okay don't mirror project mirror project to EDP this is the external one or mirror the external project to the EDP let's do that 60 Hertz scale 100% or rotation standard scale uh, is this already applied actually it is okay okay uh, scale all x11 applications will appear blurry on high dpi screens okay that's standard render x applications at native resolution okay so that's just for when you have scaling enabled uh, which is something that we might actually do for this session uh, if it's too small for you to see let's go 150 percent keep this setting okay can you see it better now networking and wireless connected let's see if we can connect to another network i suppose this uh, should be working but i only have my own uh, wireless here so i cannot try other neighbors connections wired is unplugged that's fine vpn profiles i don't have any vpn profiles what happens if i do this it will ask me to choose my uh Okay, this seems to be pulling from the network manager. So that's nice. That's nice. If I press escape, it closes. Fail to add VPN config dialog request cancelled. Okay, this seems very uh, polished. Bluetooth. Uh, I don't think my Bluetooth is enabled in BIOS. So that doesn't matter. Uh, wallpapers. Let's see what's on offer here. Can you resize this window? Yes, let's do that okay this one is nice this one is also nice nice cosmic wallpapers pun intended uh, what else is on the desktop appearance dark and light oh oh no 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 not my style automatically switch that's fine accent color i want the red one why is red one not enabled by default let's Let's put the red one here. Accent color close. I'm uh, I'm doing this on touchpad, so excuse my uh, sudden moves. Interface text control component tint round slightly round square. Round is fine. Interface density comfortable. Okay, let's go with compact. Okay, this is a bit nicer. Uh, active window hint size gaps around tiled windows. Let's uh, leave all these on default settings, system font, icons, and toolkit theming. Okay, apply this theme to GNOME apps. Let's do that as well. Close. Displays. Sound, power, and battery. 91% remaining. Turn off the screen after 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay, let's leave these on default. Keyboard settings. Let's see if I can add the keyboard that I usually use. Type to search. Croatian. Okay, they have everything that I need. Croatian US. This is the one that I use. Can I move it up there? No. Oh, move up. Nice. And English remove. Good enough. Let's test it. Nice. And nice. Okay, this works as expected. Time and length date and time 24 hours time of course seconds are not needed first day of the week is of course Monday I don't know who made it uh, so that this Sunday is the first one that sounds silly show date on top panel that is fine system accounts users not sure what is this supposed to be about okay <clears throat> a bit of hardware information architecture firmware details this is not yet implemented okay there we go uh, what is this icon here this is the settings right and this one is the already launched application okay let's close settings let's minimize this so I guess this is going to be the app store once it starts working with Arch Linux. File manager. I thought I had some pictures. 
I guess I don't. Maybe on desktop. Nope. No pictures on my account. That is fine. Applications. Okay, launcher here. Let's see here. Okay, so here is where we change keyboard layouts when you have more. Connecting the Wi Fi in a quick way, VPN connections. Yeah, this is definitely network manager powered. Automatically tile current workspace. Loading. Tiled. Automatic tiling. Navigate windows. Super plus arrows. Move window. Shift. Super arrows. Toggle floating window. Super G. Active hint. Window management settings. Okay, let's start this again. Let's close it. Let's start it again. Okay, now it's full screen. Let's do the Firefox. If I click this, it kind of happens from below. Let's close Firefox, for example, and start it again. Yeah. Okay, that was kind of unexpected to, to be in full screen again. So if I click these with the mouse, it kind of behaves not like I would expect. I mean, if both of these are full screen, then... So when I click Firefox, it does what I expected it to do, but when I click the terminal, then nothing happens. So I'm just entering this from a new user perspective, like uh, I don't know anything about Cosmic and I would hope that when I click the application it would happen what happens when I click Firefox, right? So uh, it does not go where I wanted it to do, so navigate window, super plus arrows. Okay, let's do super plus arrows. Super left, super right, super up, super down. Oh, so this changes desktops. Okay, workspaces, but it says navigate to windows. I'm kind of uh, confused. Move windows, shift super arrows, shift super arrows. Okay, this works. Up, down, left, right, nice. Okay, let's move this one to the right, left. Let's add one more window, like this one. Okay, so now it auto tiles. Okay, this is good. I moved it once to the right. I'm going to move it to the right again. Okay, so it's now grouped into the uh, right group with Firefox and now it switches places. And now we go back to the left. Now it will go back to the middle and now it will go to the left group. Okay, this is kind of nice. It, it takes a bit of use to, but I actually think this is a, this is a good key combo and easy to understand. Uh, toggle floating window, super plus G. Okay, super plus G. And now it's floating. Good enough. And super plus G to put it back in. This is okay. This is okay. Window management settings. Okay, let's... Um, so, so Okay, so this window is currently too small. And so what we can do about it is we can maybe push it up there. Nope. Shift super up. Okay. To the right. Okay, this makes no sense, but I guess... Uh, <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Now it's in the middle. I guess when, when you get such a small window, you should just press super and G to get it out and maybe maximize it to, to see what's going on. Super key action open launcher. Focus follows cursor. That would be nice in tiling environment. Uh, focus follow cursor delay, cursor follows focus. Okay, let's close this one. It's a little bit delayed. Let's see what the settings said. Super G. Uh, my, okay. Cursor delay in milliseconds. How much is it? Oh, okay. Let's put it to zero. This is what I want. Yeah, okay, much nicer. Very responsive now. Sound control. Let's see where the sound settings lead. I suppose to the main control panel. Uh, 
maximize. Okay, so when I press maximize, the other windows are then kind of uh, below the maximized window. And if I press Firefox once again, nothing happens. So this is this is what I don't understand. We have a maximized window, and we are going to shift uh, super left. Yeah, it takes a little bit getting used to because I'm not sure what happens when you maximize a window that was previously tiled. W what happens with the, with windows below that one? What is the logic between behind that? Okay, so when you press battery and move the mouse away, you cannot reach any of these information. So it's just like a pop-up. But there are some sliders that I'm supposed to be able to reach. However, when I move the mouse, they just the whole thing just disappears, right? Okay, it is what it is. Uh, do not disturb for notifications. And now it's completely bugged out. What if I close this window and this window? this window <clears throat> and now click this one click this one nope it's still bugged out oh well i think we're done here i mean that was like a quick overview with literally uh, no um, previous knowledge on how this behaves right uh, so what do you think of cosmic i mean is this something that you're looking forward to using when it's finished uh, is it just another desktop uh, in your mind? Uh, are you like a true tiling window manager user or you, you are uh, a floating desktop user or maybe you are looking forward to such a hybrid uh, as this one, right? Um, let me know in the comments and let me know what is your uh, distribution of choice where you might be installing Cosmic onto. I'm going to see you in the next video.